Hello and good evening. Heather and I are here in Coolidge Park and we're at the fountain. They've got a fountain here, like right over there is a carousel. And there's also a fountain here, you can probably hear it. And they haven't been running this fountain for like a year. Over a year, yeah. Over a year because of, of COVID and whatever. So they didn't want people playing the fountain, but things are getting better. And let me show you this fountain. It's really pretty cool. And in the background is the Walnut Street Pedestrian Bridge. So uh, I've got my Canon R6 and Heather has her Z50 and Heather has a proper ultra wide lens and I do not. Uh, so I'm having to shoot a 24 millimeter and Heather's shooting a 10 millimeter, which is 15 equivalent. So uh, anyway, we're gonna see if we can make some shots of this and then we may go shoot some other stuff in a little while. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> uh, it's also allergy season for Miss Heather. All right, well, I tried to find a way to make an interesting composition and I got out in the middle of the fountain and today the high is in the 50s. So it was a little chilly standing in the water. I took my shoes off and rolled my jeans up and Heather is still working her ultra wide shot from down low here in the, uh, I guess this is the seating area at this beautiful fountain at Coolidge Park. I made two or three photographs while I had my pants rolled up and my shoes off from in the middle of the fountain. But this one was, I guess, really the only one I liked enough to share with you. And this 30 second shot with the elephant framed up turned out pretty cool. So tonight I'm using the R6 and the 24 to 105 kit lens. This is the F4 to 7.1. I've got a step up ring so I can use my 77 millimeter filters and that is a 10 stop B plus W filter made in Germany. And I'm also using my small rig, I uh, can't see it. I'm also using my small rig L bracket, which has proven to be pretty awesome on this camera. Heather's using her Z50 and that's the Tamron 10 to 24 on the FTZ adapter. A great ultra wide lens that Heather's had really good success with. So I kind of moved around all over the place around that circular fountain and tried different backgrounds and different focal lengths. And here's a 24 millimeter shot with nothing but trees in the background. And here is a 24 millimeter shot from kind of a different place with trees in the background as well. Most of these are 30 seconds in length with a 10 stop neutral density. Now on this shot, I was actually in front of one of the animals uh, I actually had to wipe off my lens after I got done making this shot and this one has the bridge in the background and Here's a shot also from in front of one of the animals and this one has the carousel in the background Which I thought it was interesting that of all the animals that the closest one to the carousel was a horse Now on this one I climbed up on top of the turtle and it's looking straight across at a turtle so you can see the colored uh, bricks and you can see the bridges in the background all right, well, Heather has been struggling with focus with her Tamron lens, which she often does. As a matter of fact, she almost decided to sell that lens and buy the, the Nikon 10 to 20 ultra wide that my friend David has for vlogging. Um, and then it, it seemed to, the problem seemed to go away to a certain extent, but tonight she's really been struggling with focus. And so she has switched and put the kit lens on, the 16 to 50 kit lens, and I've been, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. I climbed up on the turtle uh, and got a shot with the bridge in the background and I've shot from over, I've, I've shot from all over the place using a 10 stop neutral density and the uh, 24 to 105. But I'm, I'm running into a, the 30 second problem. I wish this camera, wish both of these cameras, the Z50 and the R6, I wish they would allow you to without an external timing device shoot longer than 30 seconds. So I'm gonna switch and put my three stop or maybe my five stop neutral density on and keep working as the sun is going down. But this is a lot of fun. Uh, I never really thought of doing photography here and Heather and I were kind of trying to think of a place to shoot. And as we were driving around Coolidge Park, we saw the fountain was running and we were like, yeah, let's do that. So here we are. Here is 
the first one of Heather's shots, she didn't use any of her ultra wide shots. This one's at 16 millimeters with the 16 to 55 kit lens. I like the 16 by seven crop and the full fountain and the Walnut Street Bridge. And here is my shot, kind of also a 16 by seven crop looking in pretty much exactly the opposite direction back towards where Heather was. She's actually in this shot. And here's a shot of Heather's looking over at the Walnut Street Bridge with a turtle in the foreground and a turtle in the center of the midground. And here's another one of my shots. This one's looking over at the carousel. I made another shot that was similar to this, but on this one I scooted back further and zoomed in the lens a little bit further. And here is another one of Heather's turtle shots. On this one she is uh, at a slightly different perspective. She's got the bridge looking much closer even though it's not and the turtles are the dominant animals in the photo. All right, well, we are finishing up here at the fountain. Heather's got an idea for a shot down by the river, which is, well, you see that bridge in the background? It goes over the river. So it's not real far from here, so we're gonna wobble down there and and uh, see about Heather's shot. Oh, I like this light right here. That's nice, that's real nice, that's nice, that's nice. It's nice. Well, we came over here, the Walnut Street pedestrian bridge is over there and the John Ross Market Street bridge is over there and we did some shooting from right here in this brick area. It's, uh, it's, I think it's a little bit too close to both of the bridges. I kind of struggled. I went way down the hill. I tried a pano. I don't know if that's going to be any good. I went way down the rocks to right by the river and did some shots. I'm not sure if they're going to be any good. My favorite shot, I had Heather, who's making this clip right now. I had Heather stand right, no, she might have been over here. I had Heather stand over here and I put the camera back there about 20 feet and set a 10 second timer with the focus on her and got a blue hour shot of the Walnut Street Bridge. Um, this lens, this uh, 24 to 105 lens does not make great light stars, but other than that, I think it's a, a pretty good um, landscape photography lens. Obviously, it's not a good portrait lens. It's not fast enough uh, being f4 to 7.1. But like I say, other than the small light stars, it does pretty good for landscape photography, but I got a secret weapon. My new um, 24 to 70 f2.8 is supposed to have really, really great light stars. So maybe next time we do this time of photography at night where I want some light stars, maybe I'll try that out. Heather, uh, what did you, did you stay with the 16 to 50? Heather started out with her 10 to 24 Tamron and uh, was having a little bit of a struggle getting it to focus and she switched to the 16 to 50 and shot with that the rest of the night. All right, so here is my shot. This is from down at the bottom of the hill, right by the waterfront of the John Ross Market Street Bridge. You can see kind of uh, on the right hand side, you can see the Southern Bell and you can see the Tennessee Aquarium over on the left. And look at this masterpiece of photo editing. Heather made this one from up at the top of the hill where we were in the clip that you just saw us. And she just did uh, amazing job with her edit um, brightening up the bridge and adjusting the colors and I think it's the best one of all the photos now this is my photo again from down at the bottom of the hill this is looking to the left over towards the Walnut Street pedestrian bridge and this is uh, my favorite of my photos that don't have us in it uh, this nice slick water and blue sky here is Heather's photograph she is up at the top of the hill so she's got some foliage in the foreground, but she's done a beautiful edit with hers. And I think that Z50 kit lens does better light stars than the R6 kit lens does. Now this is my favorite photo overall just because it has Heather and I in it. And I adjusted things so it was only 8 seconds and we still moved around a little bit. But it's always fun to get a selfie at the end of a night of photography. All right, thanks for watching this video from Coolidge Park in the North Shore of Chattanooga, Tennessee, right by the Tennessee River with Heather and Phil. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. If you like the content, thumbs up is always appreciated and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.